Are we on? Yes, we are on. Just ran out of card, recorded the intro to this already once. Is that okay? Bit dark? That seems okay. Right, I'm with you. I will be with you in a minute. Bit dark, the picture. In fact, this camera I'm using is better than the last one, but not greatly different. Why did I buy it? And that brings me on to, very nicely, a little discussion that we're going to have, uh, a little bit of a debate, and you may get the clue from the title, but basically I put a tweet up last night. First thing I asked uh, was, honesty was required, and the tweet was this, or this, whichever side it pops up on. With the imminent release of some new clubs coming out early 2019, how many golfers out there will already judge the product without even trying it? 114 people took place in my little survey, 25%, a quarter of them said, yes, they do exactly that. They would they would judge the product before trying it, which I appreciate their honesty. Uh, I was expecting actually a bigger percentage to say that, although I wonder how many people didn't get involved in that little uh, debate, um, uh, poll rather. But it's a big question, and it's a big question that I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat at. And once again, honesty is required, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of comments down below on this one. It's a conversation that I've had before, um, and without wanting to repeat a video, it's something that doesn't seem to go away. Um, for me personally, we kind of all seem to know the predicament. What is a predicament? Well, the predicament is this. Golf manufacturers will be releasing clubs in early January and others throughout the year, but the majority of people, it will come out in Jan, Jan, Feb. And I will produce videos. I'm testing some product right now, um, been out there today on the fairways, testing out some product to give you some videos and some feedback on that product. And as I'm doing it, as I'm hitting the golf balls, I'm testing them and I'm forming an opinion on what I think the golf club performs like, I'm thinking, why on earth am I even doing this? Because there's so many people that straight away will either, they'll know the answers before I've even posted a video. They'll be prejudging that product, like I said, before they've even seen the video, before they've even tried the product, which amazes me. How can anybody judge a product without even trying it? For all we know, there might be the revolution might be coming. The golf club of all golf clubs might be on the horizon. But the skeptics, and I understand, I understand the skepticism. That is a pretty difficult thing to say, as uh, I've just demonstrated. And yeah, I'm I'm waiting for it's the season of when all the comments come in about limits on COR, and you can't make the driver any further. My driver from ten years ago is as good as the one they've just released. And yeah, I'm expecting all that. And it's getting to a point where you think, do you know what? Seriously, do we have to have this conversation all over again? I like to reply to comments as much as possible. It's always something I've done, but again, I look at those comments and I just struggle to engage with it. I really do. Um, back to the video. So, trying to apply some logic, thought process to what is going on. Is it just something that is in the mentalities of golfers? Are, are, are there a lot of golfers, a high percentage of golfers out there that have got this kind of mentality? Does it, I, I don't know. And the reason I ask this question is this. What device are you watching this video on now? A large majority will be watching on an iPhone or an iPad, an Apple product. A huge percentage of sales of mobile devices come from Apple. Now, Apple make a huge deal, a huge deal about announcing a new product. They have a whole big show that they put on. There's an announcement. There's a time of day when it will be released. They, this year, it was live across all stores across the world um, to announce that new product. The likelihood is that iPhone or iPad that you've got in your hand now is probably very little different to the one that previous and very little difference to the one previous to that. But... Progress gets made in products in little chunks and often we can't even tell the difference. But, um, but what I say, but cameras, I love cameras, I love them. This camera is better than the last camera I used. Will you notice a difference? Do I look any better on this camera than the last camera? Don't answer that one. This camera, on whatever camera I get, 
A bit like buying a new golf club, I'm not gonna turn into Quentin Tarantino with this camera in my hand. I know that, I acknowledge that. It doesn't matter what Canon, in this case, tell me how fantastic this camera is. It's the best camera Canon have ever made. But I will still be limited to what I can do with this camera, how good I can produce a video, the quality of that video in terms of the technology that I'm using will be limited by the person at the end of the record button, me. But I know that. I acknowledge that. And no matter what Canon tell me, I'm intelligent enough to realise that I can only get so much out of this camera because of my limitations from a personal level in being able to operate this kit. I watch numerous videos online on YouTube before I bought that camera looking for advice pointers what is the best camera for me for the type of video that I want to shoot and I went and bought this. At no point and I've watched those videos for the last three or four years since I've been very much interested in this kind of equipment at no point did I feel the need to write a comment to criticize Canon, Sony, Panasonic, Apple, to complain about marketing campaigns driven by them to me as a consumer. Never once did I feel the need to do that. Never once did I ever criticize the product when I did, what did I say? This is 13 megapixel, the last one was 12 megapixel. It's not gonna make any difference. It's like, yeah, I, listen, I'm intelligent enough to process that in my own brain and then decide whether I want to spend my money on that extra one megapixel difference or 1000 megapixel difference, wherever it is. I'm already out of my depth with cameras. So I'm already struggling with this. We get back to the golf manufacturers. Are we the only type, genre, whatever you want to call it, of uh, pastime that is so upset by marketing are we just are we just filled with people who are upset with marketing because it's all i ever read and i am absolutely i just do not get it i i honest to god i do not get it it's just so difficult and the, the thing is for me the interesting bit for me is honestly i couldn't care less if taylor may callaway ping strixon Mizuno, I couldn't care less if they didn't sell one golf product next year. I'm not on their side. I'm not on their side whatsoever. But I am on the side of human intelligence and I'm on my side in terms of doing a video to assess, evaluate a golf club's performance or a golf ball's performance and get some logical feedback that's worth interacting with rather than another whole host and barrage of people who say about the limitations of CORs and it can't be any longer and it oh God, obsession with the driver being longer it has to be if it's not longer then it's not better that's not the case at all is it that is not the case whatsoever I haven't got a club head right now but let's just say that is the center of a golf club right and we all know that COR limit then is uh, measured from that center position, we all know that it can't be exceeded, the limitations that are set. But what if, for example, all over that club face in the driver's case, we were able to get the same sort of ball speed from off center hits from all over the club face. Now for me, as an average golfer, I'd be quite happy with that because I don't find the center of a golf club that often. So if a new product was brought out, and the sweet spot became bigger than ever before and it produced the same ball speed from across the whole of the club face that'd be quite interesting to me that'd be um that'd be worth having because likely it is will make me a better player it won't change my technique it won't improve my technique but it will improve my off center hits of which i can produce lots of and therefore perhaps maybe just getting uh, that little bit more consistency of distance off that club face for the amount of poor shots that hit. We've seen a massive increase in movement and placement of CG, um, which assists golfers being able to get the ball airborne, pop that ball up in the air. 
It's not something that I've ever had a problem with, but there are a lot of golfers that I've played with that do struggle. And again, the movement in the CG in the last few years, the stripping back of weight from wherever they can and bringing CG back um, and low into drivers again, for example, has been a massive advancement in helping golfers being able to hit driver off the tee. It's a huge, huge difference. Once again, the length thing, tw uh, 28 and a half degrees, seven irons. Oh my God, do not, it's, it's, it's not a seven iron, it's a six iron, it's a five iron. Oh my God, seriously, it is the most boring comment. I, I am absolutely, I just, what does, why does it matter? Why, why does it matter to you if it's a seven iron, it's 24 degrees? If you don't want to buy them, if you don't want a seven iron that is 20 and a half degrees and you're happy with your traditional 35 degrees, well, you're good then, aren't you? You're good. You're good with what you've got. You've got no reason to... Ma what are you complaining about? It, it may, again, I don't understand the psyche of people. It's like if, if somebody brings out a, a seven iron that's 24 degrees, is it going to affect me? Am I going to change a golf club because the loft of a seven iron is 24 degrees in another set? No. Not one bit. Not, it, it doesn't interest me. I've got absolutely, I couldn't care less what they did. So I'm just, I'm baffled. I'm baffled by the logic and how, like I said, when compared to other industries, it's like as if golf has never seen marketing before in its entire life. It's like as if we've got a whole bunch of people. You know, you go into a supermarket and buy a new packet of toothpaste and it'll make your teeth whiter than ever before. Now, you and I know that these teeth, these gnashes, ain't gonna be no different. But it's marketing. It's marketing. I mean, what, do, again, I, the day I go into a supermarket and say these, uh, this toothpaste you're about to buy is gonna be the worst toothpaste you've ever used and it will make no difference to your teeth whatsoever. In fact, it'll start decaying them. That's a message that I will, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen, is it? So I don't understand why we expect that to be the case with golf club manufacturers, golf ball manufacturers, you know, I just think that at times we underestimate the mentality of our fellow golfers because we're all, I've never met one golfer that is isn't intelligent enough to make up his own mind when he sees a product to decide whether he wants to spend his money on it or not. I had a guy the other day who came, got in touch via Twitter, direct message, wanted to know how he would get fit by uh, a set, for a set of PXG irons. That guy got fit two days ago. Uh, he, he's, he's bought his irons and he's bought his wedges. To some people out there, absolute crazy. Crazy, why would you want to spend that money? For me, I have absolutely no interest. I say good luck to you. I say absolute good luck to you. If you want to buy a set of PXG irons and if you can afford to buy a PXG irons and you like them and they bring enjoyment to your life, then go out and bloody buy the clubs, mate. You know, this is the thing, it's got, it's got nothing to do with me. I'm not bitter, I'm not envious of him. I might be a little bit envious, I'd see, because I wouldn't mind set myself. But, you know, I just think, go out and buy him. Go out and buy him. I don't judge, you know, people, people smoke. People buy 20 packs of, uh, 20 fags a day. You know, I, I, don't, I don't say to people, stop smoking. Stop spending your money on fags. Why would I tell someone not to buy a set of PXG irons? You know, it's, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And it's something that, it's driven me mad for a while. And uh, again, this isn't the popular opinion. This is the thing, you know, the popular opinion right now is to jump on the bandwagon of, yes, we hate golf club manufacturers. No golf clubs are any different. I could join that band. I could join that band. I've got no interest in following popular um, popular opinion because that's how it seems to be right now there seems to be a little bit of a growing group that want to criticize that's the trend let's all call golf club manufacturers and marketing campaigns it's like no seriously I'll do my own thing I'll form my own opinion I'll pass an opinion on a golf club when I've tried it I'll give you my honest opinion and assessment of it I don't need to criticize for the sake of it I don't need to join that bandwagon whatsoever 
it's incredible, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, there's, there's so many people that actually do this and they've got a different club in the bag every week and um, it seems, like I said, almost fashionable at the moment that we have to try and criticise, find a reason to be critical. I don't see the logic in that, to be honest with you. I don't understand it. It just does not make any sense to me. It's like, you know, as any if you have gone out there and tried a golf club and then come back and say, you know, this golf club was rubbish, then every respect to your opinion. And that's what we should be doing. But for people who pass opinion on product that hasn't even on the market, so when we release some pre pre-release videos and there'll be already opinion on it um, that baffles me baffles me but again I understand that and totally respect that you wouldn't even want to try it but you can't judge it you can't judge it until you've tried it surely that's a no-brainer I turned into a bit of a rant how many minutes have I been on for like I said not a popular video not a popular subject but you know I like to have a discussion, I like to have a debate. Um, I respect all opinions, like I said, comments down below, respect all opinions, I'll respect yours, uh, but keep it logical, and uh, I will do my very best to reply as well. Um, one thing I should say before I go, probably should have started with it really, is Happy Christmas. Genuinely, thank you for watching all the videos this year. Uh, a lot of views, don't know what the number was, a lot of views, a lot of new subscribers. It's been a fantastic year and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it, even though I'm having a moan right now. It's a debate, remember, keep it that way. And uh, I will see you very soon, probably in the new year. So I'll say Happy New Year as well, because it might not be until uh, early January before you see my next video. Might be a club review, who knows?